Hello, this is Lat with Teal Street. Today I'm doing a quick video on how to create and add a Bybit API key to Teal Street. On the left, you can see I have the Bybit website open, and on the right, I have the Teal Street desktop application open. If you're using Teal Street on the web, don't worry, the process is the same. If you're not interested in watching or listening to a whole video, go to our documentation page, which is docs.tealstreet.io, and under Connect, you'll find Bybit where we have a full page on how the process is done. So one of the first things to do on Bybit's website, at the top, we're going to select API. Next, we're going to click Create New Key. We need to choose Connect to Third Party Applications, and we're going to search for Teal Street. We need to keep Read Write permissions checked. And next, we'll click Orders, Positions, Derivatives Trading, API v3. Next we're going to submit our Google 2FA. Click confirm. And now we have our API key and secret. So on the Teal Street side of things we need to click API keys at the top then click new API key. From the drop down menu select Bybit. And here we need to choose a nickname for this particular API key. This is helpful for people that are using a lot of different API keys, maybe sub-accounts, and multiple exchanges. So I'm going to use main. For encryption password, this is an, a password that's different from your login password, and it adds an extra layer of security to your API key. I'm going to choose something simple. And for key, I can go ahead and copy. And for secret, copy and paste. I'll click understood and then I'll click Create. Now it's saved, so we can navigate back to the trade site, and we're going to choose Bybit from the drop-down menu. I'll need to type in my encryption password, and there we go. We've successfully added and loaded our Bybit API key, and you can see even my tiny wallet balance has loaded, and there we go. Now, if you want to learn more about Teal Street's API encryption password, you can also find a page about this on the doc site where we have a good write up on how it works and what it does. So that pretty much completes today's video. Thank you for listening and watching. I'll catch you next time.